What's up everyone, Andrew here with PressX Gaming. We're going to be do bringing you some skid- some- Alright. What's up everyone, Andrew here from PressX Gaming. We're going to be doing some City Skylines today for Survival Sunday. Uh. What's up, everyone? Andrew here. We're gonna be doing some city side some. What's up, everyone? Andrew here. We're gonna be doing some city skylines today for Simulation Sunday. Uh, we're gonna be doing a new city. Had a little bit of a uh, little bit of experience with this, so I'm gonna try out a. I'm gonna try out a, a an area I haven't Lagoon Shore. I haven't tried this one yet. Um, it's only about 50% suitable for building, which means there's not there's probably not that much building land, but it's okay. We're gonna just jump right in. Nice. This is pretty flat. I like this. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is not an overly complicated road here, so. I'm going to connect them like that. And then I'm going to come over one, two, and the same thing on this side. One, two, go up one, two, go up two on this side. And then I would like to curve the road here. And connect it. Ooh. Might have to go up a little more. Nope. Oh, let's try going up a lot more. No. Nope. Let's try that one. No. Let's, uh... That's just unnatural looking, but it's okay. I'm going to pause that there. Go back to regular roads. Go up one. Over one. Two. Um, if you notice, I've, I'm kind of doing a... I like to build my cities on sort of a grid system. They, I find them easier to manage that way. Ooh, we got plenty of wind here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that down right there. Uh, what do we got in terms of water? Plenty of water. But I'm not going to pop that down. I would prefer put down a water tower. Um, for right now. Then we're going to make sure everyone has pipes. Everyone has water. We'll go back to the roads, and I want to throw a rotary in, which is what I was trying to accomplish right there with that road. So, I'm going to knock this down, because I don't like that curve. We're going to go just with a flat one right there, and I want to throw a rotary in. Uh, uh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to put the rotary there. And then that allows me to connect it to this road like that. And that is where we're going to start our city. And now I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to zone. So we're going to put some houses here in the middle. Some houses here to the left. A lot of residential area now. Then we're gonna zone up some. What's that? That's the Z zone. We're gonna zone up some stores here. And then we're gonna zone the rest up residential. Now, need to zone some industrial. 
Now, I want to zone my industrial away from... I want to zone my industrial away from my residents, which are going to be moving in primarily here, as we can see them start moving in. So, I think I'm going to try and put my industrial over here in this corner, so I don't have to build a road super far away. And I don't have to build... So, I want to build... A road as close to the edge of the city limits as I can. Build that road to there. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Build that up there. And I'm just gonna... We just need to throw some power lines. To there and that should extend the power grid into the city and it's not so we're gonna have to address that issue Okay, that fixes that. Now I need I need some sewage I'm seeing. So I am gonna have to build sewage outflow right there. Which needs to connect to our water line there. And I do need to run another water line sort of on an angle like that. And we'll cross that one with that. That should handle all of that, um, those issues. Now we do need to run some power lines out to our sewage outflow. And then we can now get back to focusing on our square here. If you notice, I do have unlimited money on right now. I'm going to turn it off once I get the city running. Um, but it can be a little difficult to get us up and running and I don't want to start off already failing. So I'm just gonna leave that on temporarily. Okay. Now we have our little We have our little industrial zone, which I'm now going to zone up. And factory should start building in very soon. While that's happening there, we're going to hit the speed up a little. So that our residential zip, our residential areas can. Oh, I do need a connecting road though. Can start to form. Now I have a connecting road. Uh, we'll throw some stores on the connecting road, I guess. And what I'm going to do is I'm never going to build anything but it up to this. So there's that's going to be the one road in, the one road out, the only way for. pretty much to get there so the pollution that this is going to create is never going to make my my residents sick over here in their residential area it's also i mean this road might not be big enough right now to suit this but i will upgrade it as i as i see fit um cool so right now we're almost in the positive money wise once i hit the positive i will turn off the unlimited money cheat um, and we're in the positive. So I'm going to turn off the unlimited money cheat and we will be back. All right, we're back. Unlimited money is off. Let us spin our camera. 
and we can now start to focus a little bit. I don't want to try, I don't want to expand too much too fast. So I'm going to go block by block and zone things block by block. Because I have noticed if you try to expand too much too quickly, you end up not being able to sustain. You end up not being able to sustain your city, which you end up with too much, too many expenses too soon. And then you downward spiral. So I'm going to try and keep it tight, try and keep it easy. Okay, so we've reached our first milestone. What this means is we've reached a population of 460 residents. And whenever you reach a milestone, you unlock new features that you can use. So now I can adjust my taxes, take out a loan, and I got a couple new services. I got healthcare, garbage, uh, garbage, healthcare, and education. So now I can put in a landfill, a medical clinic, and an elementary school. So right now, a medical clinic will do really well. We'll put that right there. I'm also gonna throw in a school. We'll put the school right there. Now I gotta be careful while I'm doing this because I don't want to end up with too many expenses. And we're gonna throw our landfill right here in the corner. So now, oh, let's see here. Okay, everyone's covered. Speed up time a little bit. School is operating normally. It's got 148 students. Nice. So we're now we're we're educating. We're we're getting there. Everyone seems to be pretty happy, the Cooper residents. A scooter. The popular resident, the popular residents, works at the ice cube factory. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know you could like click on cars and like houses and get a lot, a lot of information about what's going on there. Um, okay. So we got a little bit of a, a little bit of an energy crisis. So I'm gonna slap down. So right now I'm operating on three wind turbines. Now, what's gonna happen is eventually I'm going to need to upgrade to an actual power plant. When that happens, though, I gotta remember to delete these wind turbines, or I'm gonna be paying outrageous amount of power. So um, right now we have a high, extremely high demand. These are our demands. So residential, then that's commercial and industrial um right now we have an extremely high demand for some residential zones so i'm gonna expand out to three blocks one and then over i don't have enough money so we're gonna take out a loan really quick so i can take care of this and then that to there then we're gonna zone our blocks here. Put one road right through the middle there. Now I'm gonna put in residential. And then off of our rotary, 
I'd like a curved road. Like that. Now we're gonna go straight. Some interesting city design going on right now. Now we're gonna curve the road again. And then I would like to connect this neighborhood to that road. And I'd like to come across the middle here. And really make sure everyone is taken care of. Okay, now everyone has water. Hit the zones up. Now I will, I'm gonna continue stores. Now I think this is gonna be all stores. And then I can upgrade the road to be like, like a, like a medium or higher density road which will allow me, and this will kind of be like a shopping strip. All stores there. Then this is going to be all residential leading up to there. So let's color that in. All right, we've hit our next milestone. So we've reached a population of 900. Now what this means is I can, uh, I've unlocked new area, a two kilometer by two kilometer space. So I could expand my city limits by two by two. I've also unlocked new features of districts policies. I can take a second loan, industry specialization and services policies. I now can put in a fire department, a police department, unique buildings, a forestry specialization and agriculture specialization. I have policies for power usage, water usage and smoke detectors. And for new buildings, I can put in a police station and a firehouse. So we're gonna jump back in, finish zoning that up. Um, there's commercial demand, but they haven't even built on all of the land. I don't understand that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check my policies here and I'd like to put in a smoke detector policy which will lower our fire hazard. And I need to put in a small fire department. We're gonna put them right there. That should cover everyone. Now our crime rate's really low. There's no need for a police department yet. Education, we're still good. So, let's see. What am I going to do? Put a nice little dead end road in here so I can try and maximize my, my building space. Alright, that's in. But I'm now I'm losing money. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try and adjust some budgeting. Uh, I've learned that we can probably operate on about 80% right now. Drop that down, drop that to about 80. Uh, 
the fire department to about 70. We don't have any police station and our school budget is fine. So that might help a little bit. Yep, it did. Now we don't have nearly enough electricity, so that means I set that too low. So that should be at 100. So we can't operate. Okay, that fixed that problem. But we do need to look into getting more electricity. So we'll put in another wind turbine right there. That's really filling up there. So let's check out, what's this, the natural resources. What do we have here? We've got some fertile land here we could build farms on. We've got some kind of ore here that we could mine on. So it looks like I put my industrial zone in the wrong place because I didn't have access to this natural resource map when I was planning. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another one right here. So I'm going to build a road that comes out, goes over, goes down, down. And we're going to go over. Oh, we've become a tiny town. So now we can put up decorations in level two unique buildings. We've got some new policies, the pet ban, the smoking ban, and the parks and recreations department. Hilarious show. And we also can put up a high school. But right now we're trying to maximize our foresting ability by putting a small industrial zone here. And hopefully it doesn't really affect our residents right there. It probably will, but it's at this point in time. I'm not really worried about it. Do, do, do. Putting in more houses. Do, 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 do. Gonna make our city so big. Okay. Now, um, what this means, because we looked at our natural resources right here, this means is any industrial that builds here will then build stuff to mine this ore that's here. So that is really good. Just thought I would kind of touch up on what that all means. We need a fire department over in the industrial area that's over here, or we're going to have an issue. And I need to take a look at my sewage treatment. I need another output here because we're starting to get a little backed up there. So I'm going to put one right there. Connect it right like that. And we should be good. Okay. Let's speed this along. And our sewage should be good. We'll throw a water. there. Now we need some electricity. Hmm. Now I can take another loan, which is what I'm going to do right now. And we're going to try and alleviate our some of our electricity problem here by putting in a coal power plant. 
Now, we put in the coal power plant. I'm going to knock down... our wind turbines. Okay, so we're going to need at least one wind turbine. So we're going to put one wind turbine back in. And we've got the icons here that's calling for a police station. So we're going to slap a police precinct in here. Mm, where can I put it so that it covers right there? Put one there, one over here, and I guess one right here. That covers pretty much almost the entire city. And we've upgraded some buildings. So just what they needed to get there. So now we got some bigger buildings and better buildings coming on in. Okay. Our elementary school and our high school. So we're going to need another elementary school. We're going to place it over here. We need some water, though. Some water pipes. Okay, now we got water everywhere. Everywhere is covered with water. Um, education needs to t be addressed. Um, we're going to raise our taxes just a little bit to help offset some of these extended costs that we have and we're going to put in some parks to help increase some land value around the city so put a park in there Let's see we're going to put a big one in over here right there I'm going to put a park smaller one right there and let's put one here okay so now most of my city is covered with the parks raising the land value so not not off to a bad start here in the first part of simulation sunday uh we've reached just a just north of 2,000 residents. Um, we're at a $2,000. We're we're about $2,000 above budget. I mean, above um, yeah, above budget, which is really good. It's gonna really help. Um, nice little interesting design to our city. We got a lot of residents here with a strip here that's all stores. Our industrial zones here we've got some spots over here um, a box factory uh, ready to wear I'm looking for uh, apparently no one decided to build any kind of drilling or for the ore but oh I know why because we need to set that so what we're gonna do generic industry is what's set right now oil or okay so once we hit 2400 I can rezone I can set this district and it'll rezone all of these um, lovely factories to to make ore. what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna it's gonna zone a zone a district here because why not really quick thanks timer um, that's my cue uh, if you've enjoyed this video, if it's been informative, um, please, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe on YouTube where you can get all of our survival
our survival Saturdays, we've got simulation Sundays, multiplayer Mondays, we've got a, a slew of videos that we're doing for um for YouTube, all different themes for different days. Uh, so check that out. Uh, just search on YouTube for Pre uh, PressX Gaming. You'll be able to find us, no problem. Uh, if you want to watch a stream live on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash PressX Gaming, and the and the best way to find out when we're streaming and what we're streaming is through Twitter at PressX Gaming. Uh, just you know, follow us on Twitter. I I usually tweet when I'm gonna play and what I'm gonna play. Um, I know we have a few other people who contribute and they also use the same Twitter so they'll be tweeting when they're gonna play it also uh, so I'm Andrew this has been our first video and hopefully many for simulation Sundays and that's all I have for now so take it easy guys